Now I would like to introduce Steve Cantrell, um, a great Rotarian, and it's a delight to work with him as well. He belongs to the um, Smoky Hill Club. He has perfect attendance since 1991. Um, he has the, received the Distinguished Rotary International Citation for Meritorious Service Award. Sorry, I had to read that. It was too long. Um, and Rotary International only gives 100 of these awards or less each year, so a very large achievement. He's been involved in the district from day one. Um, he received the District Rotarian of the Year Award. Um, he's been a trainer at PETS, and he's organized district conventions. And um, <clears throat> he's a generous giver to Rotary International, to the Rotary Foundation. And besides being a Rotarian, he also has a personal life. Steve works as a real estate broker, and for the last 12 years, he's been in the top 1% of the REMAX brokers in the area. And he has another personal life, which I think is even more important. Earlier this year, he married Mary Cantrell. And uh, so I would like to introduce to you Mary Cantrell's best friend and our district governor, Steve. Am I on? Very good. I had a wonderful, wonderful privilege about a, an hour ago, hour and a half ago. I was able to meet each of your subcommittee chairs and your director. Now, I've known President Shu for 12, 13 years, and is she great? Or, she great, you know that. I love her. When I, just, when I found out she was going to be the president of the finest Rotary Club in District 5450 during my year as district governor, I went, yeah! <laughs> you also have a wonderful board and a wonderful subcommittee chairs and leaders. And uh, the work that this club does, I've known. I've been involved at the district level since 1995. And I know about much of what you do. But uh, today, what I heard, I thought I knew. And I found out so much more. And you should congratulate yourself. You really do make dreams real. Fellow Rotarian friends and family of Rotary, I would like to formally introduce my Rotary partner, my best friend, the woman who makes my dreams real, my wife Mary. I am truly honored to have the opportunity this afternoon to deliver my message. I want to share with you something that is near and dear to my heart, passion in Rotary. But first, I want to give you our president, Rotary National President, D.K. Lee, from Seoul, South Korea, 2008-2009, Rotary theme and emphasis. Our awesome theme, awesome theme, make dream real. Our emphasis are water, literacy, health and hunger, and youth, specifically those issues related to the mortality of youth. I was shocked to discover almost 27,000 children under the age of five die every day, every day, from preventable causes. These children die from pneumonia, measles, and malaria due to lack of basic medicine, vaccines, and mosquito nets. 
They die by the thousands every day because they only had dirty water to bathe in and drink. As I mentioned a few moments ago, I want to leave you with a message that I'm passion, passion, passionate about, passionate about, something that is important to me and I hope would be to you. A few months ago at the district conference in Vail, I heard a wonderful presentation, wonderful presentation by Parker Rotarian, Doug Young, and it was titled, Why I Am a Rotarian. How many had the opportunity to hear that by any chance? A few? Great. It was truly, in my opinion, one of the best rotary presentations I have ever heard. Now, backing up a little bit, I want to share with you a true story that transpired days leading up to the district conference related to Doug's presentation. Every year on Sunday morning, the last day of the conference, the district governor-elect, who was me at the time, is expected to deliver a message to the audience related to the plan for the upcoming Rotary year. Now I knew I would talk about finding our passion in Rotary. I knew I would talk about that. I've been talking about that for 17 years. But I was struggling greatly with how to verbalize my message. I would write, then rewrite, and eventually, I would toss my work in the trash can. Finally, I completed the presentation I thought I would deliver on Sunday morning, the day before Mary and I left Denver to go to Vail. However, deep down, I was still struggling. It wasn't right. And sometime between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. on Saturday morning, the day before I was to deliver this message, I once again found the trash can. Mary asked me what was on my mind. I told her I was in trouble. She said, why? I have no idea, zip up, what I'm going to say tomorrow morning. She gave me that look I've seen a few times, that you are in trouble look. And then she rolled over and went back to sleep. Later that, I couldn't sleep. So later that morning, I finished my message.